I love people. <laughs> I, love, yeah. I, love, I love people's enthusiasm. I love their determination and their royalty and their love and their appreciation. You know, um, if, if the Justice album would be a mix like a regular record, normal any other kind of record, um, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. It would have went, it would have did what it did, and we still would say it sells a couple thousand copies a year, a month, a week, whatever, and it does <laughs> does its thing, and it just sounds like it sounds, and there you go, and we wouldn't even thirty years later be going whatever that was that album that happened then. But because the way it all came out and it became such a fucking unnecessary big deal, um, we're st still talking about it again. So I think it was brilliance. They didn't even realize how fucking brilliant they were in their drunk stupor to do what they did. And now that it's become um, the best garage band album ever. So Black Keys, White Stripes, uh, Flat Duo Jets, the different power duos of garage stuff. Mm. Lars and James were the original garage band duo <laughs> as far as that goes. They always made the records that way. From No Life to Leather, it was Lars and James, guitar and drums on the original No Life to Leather cassette if you have happened to ever see a real copy or a photo of a copy. In Lars's handwriting, in ink pen, on the label of the cassette, turn bass down on stereo. Wow. Hello. <laughs> I'm no life to leather. <laughs> yeah. They mixed it how it was supposed to be mixed. Anybody would mix and there's the bass and there's the guitar and this thing from all the way back, just like some dude did for them. But Lars didn't want because it messed with his drums somehow. So when he sends the demo out to uh, where were the fucking combat records and whatever, turn the bass down before you listen to this. Before you even get it going, just turn the bass down right from the get-go. Before you even start. That's where he has been his whole goddamn life. So why would it be any different when it came to that? They made Kill Em All that way. They made Ride that way. They made Master that way. They made it, 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 it. All of them. Those two guys in a room. Baka, 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 baka. Buka, buka, say over and over and over again. That's the way it always happened. Okay. The most successful metal band of all time. Mm -hmm. You know, so you argue with this shit. I'm not really sure. But back then, I was fucking livid. Are you kidding me? I, I, was, I was ready for throats, man. No, I was out of my head because I really thought I did well. I thought that I played how I was supposed to play, you know. But once again, if you knew then what you know now and all that, um, I went into the went to the studio for Injustice. Toby Wright is there, assistant, uh, recordist, whatever he was at the time, engineer. Okay, Jay, we're doing that one. Go red light. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, now we're doing that one. Red light. Red light. Three songs that day. Come back and go lay down Hollywood. Come back in the morning. Da -da 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 -da. Three more. Okay, do that for three and a half days. Album's done. Drive back to San Francisco. Done. Just like any, so that was a long time. I had three and a half days to do nine songs and Flotsam, I did all the songs in one day. So it's like, you know, that's yeah. what I used to. You plug it in, you turn me on, I play the fucker, I'm done. That's it. I didn't know any better. So slow down, speed up, do that different. Hit that there, go with the drums. I had no idea what the fuck any of that was at all. Play the bass part. Be the part where it just goes, do, 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 like ACDC, where it goes, do, 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 the whole time. And the guitars go, dang, 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 dang up on the top of it and the bass just rides down there that concrete just riding down there i never knew that dude flotsam i write the songs on bass the guitar players cover cover the riff that i played on bass and it becomes this one-dimensional thing i didn't know about underneath the guitars no fucking idea no idea what that would mean until i met bob rock 